It's Kian on Book Monster with another book review for you guys. Today, I'm reviewing The Trials of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan. You may remember I already reviewed a book of his. If you don't, you should definitely check it out. It's on the first in the Magnus Chase series. Anyway, back to this one. There are currently four books in the series and I don't know if there will be any more. I got this one for Christmas just past. Well, actually, I borrowed it from a library two years ago, but I just couldn't get into it at the time. But since then, I've read the whole series of Percy Jackson and Heroes of Olympus, so I'm more familiar with his books now. So like I said, I got it for Christmas and I'm really glad I did, because it's so good. But that's no surprise, because all of Rick Reardon's books are brilliant. For me, anyway. Before we get to what the book is about, I have a little announcement to make. It's nothing big, so don't get too excited. We are now on Twitter, so be sure to check us out after this video. The link is also in the description below. And if, and if you think of it, please follow us. So, this book is about the god Apollo. Well, he was a god before he got kicked out of Olympus for angering his father Zeus. Weak and disoriented, he lands in a New York City dumpster as a regular teenage boy instead of a 4,000 year old god. Because he is mortal, he has lost all of his godly powers, which is bad because he has lots of enemies and without his powers, he is in huge danger. He goes on to discover that all the oracles have gone quiet. That is bad too, because it means the demigods no longer get prophecies. He thinks it is his job to find out why. So he goes on this amazing adventure to try to find them. All in all, there are four oracles and there are four books. So my guess is that he gets one oracle back in each of the books and that, and that those are his trials. And if he succeeds, he will once again become a god. But that's just my hunch. This book is all about friendship, trust and betrayal. It is a fantastic book, as I already mentioned at the beginning. It is such a well-described story. It stays fun and interesting the whole time. Now, the reason I stopped reading it two years ago was because I found it a bit difficult to read. But that might have been because I was just too young to read it, or maybe because I was new to the language. You see, my sister and I are bilingual. We grew up in Switzerland and only moved to Ireland roughly three years ago. Up until then, we only read in German, but we always spoke in English with my Irish mom. So we really only started reading in English when we moved here. So it took us a while to work our, our way up to the books of this level. Anyway, back to the book. I would recommend The Trials of Apollo to the readers of age 11 and up. One more thing. We also read lots of great stories in German. So if you would like some German book reviews, just comment German book review in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed my review today. And please remember to subscribe and all that stuff. Over and out.